Hello, today we'll be learning how to edit Google Documents using Google Apps Script. So I decided I wanted to make this because there is not too much tutorials on the Google Apps API, and the majority of the tutorials are for Google Sheets. There's not too much for Google Docs. So I'm going to make this a simple tutorial to edit Google Docs. So before we start, make sure you go to the More tab and make sure that your Google Apps Script is enabled. So, you just want to go to Google Apps Script. And make sure that that is enabled. If not, then make sure you enable it. So, now, just create a new Google Apps Script. So, before we need to code, before we even start coding, we need to make sure that we have ID in mind. So, my goal is to replace all the cats in here to replace them with dogs so just replace this with dogs because face it I don't want to make a dog article but I don't want to actually write so I'm just gonna copy this from cats and it'll be as simple as that probably not a good idea but you know what let's do it for fun so let's make our function a meaningful, meaningful name so replace cats with dogs So now that we have this function, first thing we probably want to do is also, before I move on, Google Apps Script is basically JavaScript. I'm not going to go through the JavaScript basics, so you can learn those on your own. There's plenty of good tutorials just to get the gist of it, because I'm not going to go over the basics. So I'm going to create a variable, and I'm going to set this to document app um, open by ID. So this is basically going to get this document here by its ID. So this is like the container of the document. Now we need to make sure that we get our body of the document. So all you need is similar as document get body. And this contains all the elements. So basically, everything is split into paragraphs. So this is a paragraph, this is a paragraph, and this is a paragraph. So everything's split into paragraphs, tables, and whatnot. So we're going to loop to the paragraph. So I'm just going to make a for loop quickly. And it'll be called paragraph. So get paragraphs basically gets our paragraphs and that turns into a list. I'm just going to go through that list. So when we get those paragraphs, you want to probably make a variable with our text. This basically gets the index, gets our paragraphs by the index of P. So if P is 0, we'll get the first paragraph. And then we'll get our text for that paragraph. So now we want to make a loop to go through each character. So now that we have that and it loops through our text, now we need to create... So this is where it starts and this is where it ends. So. It's at I, but it lasts for three. It's equal to, it's equal to dog. It, that would be cat. <laughs> and then we have to replace it with dog. However, there's not a function to basically replace because I cannot do text substring um, I three is equal to uh, dog. I can't like do that because it's only a read-only function. So I have to actually import a function. So now I just copied and pasted this function here. And I'm just going to use it real quick. So I'll use set substring at our char, which is text, or should I mean our string, then our index is i, and how long last four, which is three, and then what we want to set to, which is dot. Simple as that. And now we can basically just need return it. So we need to make sure that, however, there's a major issue. This here is empty. It's not gonna, like, you can't set a paragraph to an empty thing. So this is not gonna work. So all we need to do is go in here and if text is not equal to that, if it's not empty, then do that. Really simple. So now we can run this function. 
So I'm gonna make sure I save this. Um, probably should enter our project name. Place cats with the dogs. And so now I'll just select our function here. And I'll run it. And so now they're gonna ask us to allow us to have authorization. So. Head over here. Now there, and now there's gonna be a warning sign. That SAP hasn't been verified by Google yet, only for receiving known trust of the developer. Everything in this code is fine. I don't think there's any issues with it. If there's any issues, then comment or contact me because that's not good. So, but yeah, everything that we do should be safe. So you can you can uh, go to the the, the extension. Allow, and then it's allowed. So all I need to do is run it. And for all I know it might work, it didn't work. Okay, so I figured out the issue. We did not set our string to a text variable. So we need to make sure that this is all stored in a variable. So we're just gonna store it back to text. So now, All about dogs, the dog, dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, it basically is all dog. But yep, I replaced all that. The issue is that it does not maintain bolts and styles. So I might add a footnote if I figure out how to do this in the future. But other than that, this is probably gonna stay for now. So that's it. Next tutorial, we'll probably talk about creating documents, and following after that, we'll probably talk about actually making the extension and the interface and all of that. So that's it, and I hope that you learned something.